So I just want to show off something that I did off camera, as you can see. Uh, this is just a bit of a well, nothing too spectacular. I'm not going to lie, the design's too good for me to have come up with this all by myself. Um, I did alter it in some ways, I reshaped the roof slightly, I added stairs here just to give it more of a curved look. Um, I also broke the ground up a wee bit, but by and large it was something that I took inspiration for. And yeah, it's, uh, it's fairly nice and it's fairly small and fits into that area quite nicely. It really does add something though because I like this area in the sense that there's not too much going on. It does really feel like a more relaxed medieval feel instead of the up-close nature that some of the other areas of the city has, but I mean that's just uh, that's just the nature of things, that's just the way things have worked out. I mean you've got to keep in mind that I never actually planned this out, it just kind of fell into place and really the defining factor behind the layout of this project was well, the start of it really, what we did at the start, we did the walls, we did the towers, we did the paths, we linked everything up, we did the, the main castle area, and then ultimately everything else just fell into place as a result of that. Uh, we're going to be working on a bit of a church, a bit of a church, monastery, something of that ilk. Obviously that's something that was very, very important in uh, medieval life. And it's something that I wish to represent here. Problem is, we've got this area to do it. It's I think this area is bigger than this area here. So we're going to try and fit it in between the marketplaces and the houses over there. Uh, I do have a design, uh, an image that I'm going to be looking at. And we're going to try to... Well, I'm not going to copy it block by block because I think it's a wee bit too big for this area. Maybe not, maybe it is, I don't know, but we'll we'll have a think about it. Anyway, the back will go over here, with the front being, f well, facing this way. Uh, the reason for that is obviously because we've just got a bunch of houses here, the backs of houses, I mean, it's not a very accessible place. So you got to, I guess, think about the infrastructure from that point of view. Um, but we will start working at the back, because that's the image I'm looking at at the moment. I'm looking at the back end. See, that's the thing, whenever you're, you're, whenever you're looking at images, it's often very difficult to tell what sort of form a build is taking if you can only see one view. The good thing is i got two views here, and I will be altering it because there's things I don't like about it, but there are a lot of things that I do like, hence why we are working with this. Hello there. Uh, right, so let's begin. Try to do a bit on camera, but by and large a lot will be done off camera. The thing I like about it is it, it's... Um, it's got a block palette similar to the one we used for the lower section of the uh, blacksmiths in the sense that it's it uses a mixture of stone brick and cobblestone and what that really does is just make it stand out a little bit from all the other builds that look pretty much the same. I'm looking for things that are different if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, what have we got? We've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, go, we, I think it's 12 wide, is it? It's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. It's only 11 wide, actually, so we could just start it here. I think we will. Let's give ourselves as much space as possible. Ooh. Should we start it? Ah, actually, we've got to start it here. Because there is a bit of a... Let's, let's start it one forward. We'll start it here. Because there is a bit of a... Well, a part that kind of protrudes out... And I'll kind of shape that right now. Where's that workbench? So yeah, this is going to be an interesting set of circumstances for sure. Let's see how we do. There's actually one really cool technique when we come to the roof, um, which I am looking forward to trying. However, we're just going to have to wait and see. Wait and see how we can uh, work on that once we once we get to it. I probably should lay out the entire base first, just so we're absolutely 100% sure it's going to fit in this area. But the thing is, as I said, it's not fully possible to see every single aspect. So we're going to have to uh, yeah, work off of just our, our own interpretation of what's being shown. 
So that goes there, that's fine. Then we'll go log for three. Something there, then we'll go for, along for three, and already we've reached the marketplace, which isn't so good. Uh, so I think what we'll do in that case is... What should we do? Should we just call it quits there? Should we cut off half of the build? I guess so. I'm not planning to do much with the interior. So I'm thinking we could maybe... I know what we could do is we could do something like that. Bring that out like that. Can we do that here? Yeah, we can. So we're going to bring it in a wee bit. Bring it in like that. And then, do we have any more? There's some more stone bricks there. This is going to be very resource draining as well, I would imagine. And then we'll just move this along a wee bit. And that'll be the entrance, right? I don't want it to be too tunnel-like. But I do want it to avoid the marketplace. So does that look like it could work? Just going to replace a few of these blocks. I think it could work so far. So far what we've got is adequate. There we go. Might need to add something over here. Oh, we could, have, we could, we could move it over this way. That's the thing. But I don't think that would buy as much space. So... Yeah, I think we're fine. So we'll do it like that. Already I've changed things up a bit, but we'll have a tower here. Uh, let's see, 3x3, three three, that could work. We'll just add that there, and voila, there we go, we got the base done. It's all about that base, about that base. Okay, that was cringe. Anyway, moving on. Um, we've got to add some cobblestone. So yeah, as I said, this is the stone brick cobblestone uh, texture that we saw when we were using the, or when we were building, sorry, the blacksmith's last episode. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to add in something there. I'm trying to build the back end of it here. Very, very challenging to really gauge what's going on. Oh, and I, as I said, I'm, I'm fine with people taking inspiration, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, you should copy because, well, first of all, that'd be hypocritical, but also, you know, not everyone is, you know, skilled at building. I find it enjoyable. I enjoy looking over things I've built, but, you know, there's a, there's a limit to my artistic uh, ability, if you know what I mean. I remember when I was at high school, my art teacher likes my work. I'm not sure if she liked it because she felt sorry for me and was trying to, you know, help my self-esteem or if it was genuinely good. I don't know. Either way, I did. it did make me kind of consider keeping art, but I, I just, I don't know, I just didn't enjoy it or I didn't enjoy that sort of art. Plus you had to do essays. I knew you had to do essays as a, as a form of, uh, what do you call it? assessment, as a form of assessment, you have to do essays. So I, I didn't want that. So I went and chose history, where I had to do essays as a form of assessment. Because, uh, hashtag logic. Anyway, uh, let's bring this up here like so. Yeah, we're just going to bring it in behind these stairs, and then we've got an area on top. There we go, right. How does that look? I'm happy jumping down. I think that looks... Good. Okay, I'm happy with that so far. The good thing about this build is it's using the default texture pack. I like it when things use default because then I can visualise it better. Thing is though, a lot of medieval builds in this game look better when using a pack. I'm not going to lie. Um, like I remember when I was on the RSG server back in the day and one of the guys on it wanted to build... I think it was like Castle Black or something, some castle like Game of Thrones. And I, I went looking for images, and the thing is, a lot of the images involved blocks, well, it, it was invo involved packs, texture packs, which obviously none of us used. Well, actually, I, f I got got the feeling they might. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, You can a lot can be lost in translation if you're not using the same pack. 
as the person you're 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 speaking to. So I'm just making sure I've got the right gist with all of this. So that's going down there. Yeah, this is a part where I be I can barely see what's going on. Let's bring that around. And we'll just bring this down a bit there. Yeah, this is a hard bit. This is very, very challenging to see what's going on. I'm actually very tempted to lob another layer up here. And the reason for that is because there's going to be a lot of... Well, there's going to be roof involved. But the thing is, the roof does cover over quite a lot of the... I like how I... I, I, I trimmed this edge. I didn't need to trim the trim that edge. Yeah, no, the stairs cover the stairs of the roof do cover over a lot of the blocks being placed. Let's make some stairs now. One of the things I really like about this build, the image, is that it uses stairs like this, kind of upside down stairs in a way that I haven't used before. Can't tell what it does there. Let's let's try this then. See how how it works, how does it look? Because it actually looks phenomenal, the image. So, and I see, I, I can't tell exactly what they're doing, but I think they're doing something like this. There we go. All good. Question is, do we have a block there, or do they have something else? Let's, let's throw that in. Oh, no, not that. Let's throw that in, and then have a... A block there. How does that look? Looks like it's off a, a wee bit. Does that just be? It's just be. It, it does look like it's off, but oh, I know. I tell you what, it's because we've not added one at the very end. It's because we're not added one there. Whoop! All right. Cool. If we add one there, it should improve. It should improve. Oh, I see. It's because we've not added this. I couldn't quite tell what was going wrong. But that makes sense. Cool. So that should that should be the blueprint of the roof done. Yeah. That looks okay. Looks decent. Uh, so, I can just go ahead and finish the roof, to be honest. Because that's the easiest part. I can see most of it and I can just like copy it over the other side. There are some patterns in the roof that I might not add. But I think I'll do that. I think I'll I'll do the roof first. It's hard to really see what it's like lower down though. That's part of the problem. But I'll work on the, the roof off camera and then we'll get back to building the walls. So there is the roof. The top of it does look vastly different from the image I'm looking at. For a variety of reasons that I won't get into too much. Um, but that's what we're going with. I'm now just going to add to the to the build itself. I'm not quite sure what we're going to necessarily get away with in terms of matching up what I've got here with what is in the image. I almost want to add stone bricks across the top, even though I'm not convinced that's what's being shown. Because I think it makes a bit of sense. Just a bit, not much. Makes a... It makes sense in my eyes, anyway. But I'm not the, the expert in this case. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's taking shape. That is the main thing. And I like the way it's, it's working out in terms of... Well, you know, in terms of the tower going here and everything like that. We might get onto that next episode. Really just depends. But this might be a two-parter. Then we could maybe have, like, a window here. I don't have any glass on me. There's no stained glass, of course. This is, uh... Stained glass was added in 1.7. The way I remember it is... And I've said this before. And I've said that I've said this before. Before. But the, uh... No, it was... 1.6 was when stained clay was added. Because I used to, you know, collect loads and loads of clay to, you know, smelt it down to get hardened clay and all that sort of stuff. But then, you know, 1.7 comes out, all of a sudden we've got Mises and uh, hardened clays a hang of a lot easier to obtain. So it's, yeah, it was an interesting one. But that's how I remember that stained glass came in 1.7. At least I think it came in 1.7. If I got that wrong, then I'm going to look very silly, but I'm 
pretty sure I got that right. I'm not sure. Would would Minecraft be my specialist subject in Mastermind? I'm not, not really sure, to be honest. Right, let's uh, apply all that. Do we have any gravel? No, we don't. So, right. What we're going to do is... we're just Oh, no, that's stone. There we go, that's what we want. So, yeah, we'll have a few windows. We've got one at the back, a couple at the front. We've made the build a lot short, Not a lot shorter, but... Shorter than the one that I'm currently looking at. Uh, around the side here, I guess what we'll have is... Yeah, we'll just have stairs there. And then we'll do that here. That's going to come around like that. We're going to try and get some cobblestone involved a wee bit more. There we go. I think that looks good. It's a good start. And then we just need to add our cobblestone into this area. It's not too bad, actually. In terms of resources, like, it's not that bad. Like, I've built way more... Um, resource intensive projects like mind that cathedral I built in my journal world in the city there that was just incredible the amount of uh, oh wait that needs to be there yeah the amount of uh, stuff that went into that was incredible the amount of uh, resources the amount of time and effort I'm not sure if you, well if you followed me back then you might remember that I started the city I built the wall built the cathedral, then after that it lay like that for so long, I think I did like one or two kind of minor builds, and that was just because of how gigantic the cathedral was, it was really, really over the top. At the end of the day, uh, did it look good? It looked okay, I'm not, I'm not going to stand here and say I was, you know, 100% happy with it, but it was okay, we'll go, we'll go for that. Anyway, this is what we've got done so far. Gonna try and add some uh, some stairs in. Why not? How's that? That ain't bad. Is that necessary? Oh, yep. It most certainly is. I like that. I I like that archway. Yeah, it's coming together. It's coming together nicely. Um, maybe we'll do the inside next episode. I want to try and work on the tower now. So I think we'll. Uh, push ahead and do that. Alright, so we've got a wee bit of a problem in that the the image I'm looking at has a tower that's 5x5. Five five. This is only going to be 3x3 three three due to the well, due to the extent I narrowed the build. We could make it 5x5 five five if we so, want, uh, so desired. Do we though? That's the question. Do we? Or shall we just go with 3x3? Three three? I think we'll just go with 3x3 three three, honestly. That's not just because I'm lazy, but for a variety of other reasons. Right, so let's build this up. I'm going to try and head in here. Uh, right, how's that looking? It's looking okay. There are stairs involved. So I think I'll add them. Oh, it's like that. It actually looks quite like quite a cool pattern. I've kind of done this in some floors myself, but it looks good on the side of a, a tower. They will we'll have that. Oh, actually, we have uh, cobblestone, and then we've got then we've got this. Some more stairs here. Brilliant. But now I can't really see what's going on at the sides, and this is where there's kind of like a platform, but then. I'm not sure if we'll have the platform necessarily, just because there's not enough space really to involve that. What we're going to do here, we could just uh, we'll do that. I know, I know. Let's uh, let's have this go around the corner a wee bit, and then yeah, we'll add that there. We'll just continue the pattern we've had on the wall, and then the tower, yeah, the tower will start here. We'll have a, a window and everything. Come on. So, yeah, the window will be... there. Yeah? Maybe we can make the window one taller. I'm thinking what we could do is if we just add 
one or two blocks here. We could mirror what we've done over there, and then we'll mirror what we've done on the front, because I don't know what else to do. We'll do that. Have some cobble in place. At this point I'm no longer copying what's on the front, I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, or not on the front, I mean on the... Uh, on the window, on the image, sorry. At this point I'm not copying what's on the image, I've just kind of given up on that. Uh, not that. Let's get... We need to make some more stone bricks. I'm glad I brought so many resources. Went a bit overkill on the uh, cobblestone, but it's worth having, just in case. So, we'll do that. Let's place all of that down. And then... Yeah, there we go. So, we've mirrored what's on each side. We're going to have to include something here. Something on this side. We need to add to the tower here, so how are we going to do that? We could do stairs and then just do that, do that, and then that's where we start the cobble pattern. Not sure how this is going to look honestly, but we'll have a look at it in a, in a bit. This is where the stairs occur. We'll just, we'll just place the stairs, because why not? So, how's that looking? I kind of want to just finish it, to be honest. But then again, we don't have enough blocks, so let's uh, hop down and have a look at it. Uh, it looks okay. It's the sort of thing that looks okay, but if we add something to the top of it, then it might look better. We might be able to salvage it. It looks like a bit of a mess, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And then we need to add something there, obviously. Maybe if we add uh, cobblestone walls, maybe. Let's craft a bunch of these. We've got 24. So let's just hop up here. Oh, don't know what happened there. I might have been uh, holding down control, expecting that to enable me to sprint. So what happens if we do this? Is this going to improve the look of it? Let's head back down, take off this pillar, and we'll have a good look. Yeah, that looks that looks slightly better. I don't know why, it just does. I'm not going to question it. Let's uh, let's just roll with it, shall we? Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing down here. All right, I'm just going to try to, yeah, just add something to the top to make it look better. I feel like we need to make it a wee bit taller as well. Um, I guess first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, add blocks here above the cobblestone walls. Let's add some uh, some some stairs here because this is, uh, this is what the image has done. I'm, I'm now copying the image again. We're back in the... Uh, imitation mode. So we'll do that. What happens if we raise this up one more? And then what happens if we add that? What if that would look good? Um, can we make that jump? Yes we can. I should have added some sort of a platform or scaffolding or something to make traversing this a lot easier. So if we do all that that's good. Then, what I think we need to do is get up here. Let's add... Wait. Yeah, we'll add something here. We'll also add stairs in the middle. The problem is, the image isn't very clear because there's so many stairs and maybe even slabs. I can't actually tell what block's been used in what place. You know what we want to do? Boom. There we go. That was all my own work.
That stair slab combo might work out. Only time will tell. <laughs> Only a good view of this build will tell. And then... Let's finish it off with one of these. And uh, also there's no roof, so uh, we need to add that at some point. I've just realised... Oh no 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 no! There we go. That's a save if ever I saw one. Didn't want all the water running down. I mean it might not have made it, but just, just in case. Right, I've just realised I've left cobblestone up there. Well how does it look though? I think it looks decent. It looks okay. Maybe we should outline it with cobble in the back, because at the minute it just looks like a ruin or sort of some sort. So maybe adding cobble at the back would be good. All right. So what we want to do? We're gonna add some scaffolding here. We're just gonna add like a massive three by three or well three by three area of cobblestone. And what that's gonna allow us to do is hopefully add a backdrop to all of this, and then we'll just leave this bit at the top normal as it was. So did we get rid of that part down there? Yes we did. We'll just take away all of that. Cool. So does that look? Yeah that looks better. Yeah much better. Brilliant. I like that. We're gonna go with that. Quality stuff. Not the building. Well, yeah, the building was good, but obviously I didn't design it. So in terms of the outer shell, I think that is us finished for this episode. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, more than happy with how it is. I'm just going to add some uh, torches inside just so we can, uh, well, hopefully reduce any sort of mob spawns. But yeah, overall, oh yeah, the reason I can't place it there is because it is a stair. Yeah, overall, I am liking where this uh, this project is going. Pretty happy with uh, everything. It's not bad. Um, we'll work a bit on the interior maybe next episode or at least at some other uh, time. Also I filled in that section which looks okay. Yeah we'll, we'll just we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. Anyway that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for checking it out. All the very best and I will catch you later.